Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. This is Slaterella. We're going to go ahead and get into this James Charles wig and makeup manager inspired glam neon skull. So if you're interested on how to get this look right here, then go ahead and keep on watching. So the first thing that I went ahead and did was take a cool tone brown shadow and put that right into my crease. After that, I took a very dusty rose pink and put that in my crease as well and smoked out the lower lash line. Following that, I went ahead and applied a hot pink shade and really, really buffed everything out and then applied black to the outer part of my eye. I took a pink again and went ahead and buffed everything out as far as the black goes. That way you have a very smooth transition and then went ahead and darkened everything up again. After that, I cut out the first half of my lid and then packed on a shimmery white eyeshadow and then took my pink and just kind of buffed out those harsh edges. Went ahead and highlighted my inner corner as well as my brow bone and then highlighted that first half of my lower lash line. Now, time for the fun part. We're going to go ahead and draw out where we want the skull to go with a white, or I'm using my NYX Wonder Pencil, just to draw the highlights of the skull. This will also help because this liner you are actually able to erase if you mess up, so don't take it too seriously. This is an opportunity for you to kind of figure out where you want everything to lay, and then if you mess up, you can actually just kind of erase it. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take that hot pink that we put on our lid and I'm going to begin to buff out those white lines. Um, I started off with a very fluffy brush, but I actually ended up going in with like a fluffier pencil brush instead just because I actually had more control with it. Yeah, you can see right here I switched to a pencil brush. The one that I'm using is by e.l.f. And just go ahead and really buff out all of those lines that you drew, including your teeth. And you can see for the teeth, I actually went in with a tight lining brush just because it was a lot easier to go in with that versus the fluffy pencil brush. And really, really buff these out. You don't need to make it too, too perfect, but you know, really make sure that everything's buffed out and blended nicely. Because what we're going to go ahead and do next is go in with a darker pink and actually draw right in the middle of where we blended out that hot pink with a darker, more magenta color. So if it's blended out more, especially on the teeth, you're going to be able to add that magenta in there and it won't look as messy. Same thing, go ahead and reline all of the buffed out pink areas that you just did. And now we're gonna begin to fill in all of the skin with black eyeshadow. And what's nice about this look is that you don't actually need any like face paint or anything. I used all makeup, except for the white lines I did use face paint, but you can use white eyeliner. I just don't have any. And then after I filled in majority of the lines, I mean majority of the skin with the black eyeshadow, I actually went in with a detailing brush and actually cut out all of the edges where the pink and the black meet. That way you kind of have that more sharper line, even though we are going to go in later and actually buff out the pink into the black anyways. But I just wanted to make sure that the black was really filled in. And then you can see me going in right now with that pink eyeshadow and I'm beginning just to blend out all of the pink into the black. That way you have that very kind of faint and very buffed out blended look. And now I'm going in with my white face paint. Like I said, you can use eyeliner to create that neon appearance. And take your time with this. The more time you take with it, the more details that you put into it, the better that this look is going to appear. And then I decided, hey, I want to put some white on my lid. So I went ahead right in that pink area on my eye makeup. I went ahead and added a white line. Go ahead and apply some lashes. And you girl are all set to go. This look was so cute and I love the pink. Like I said, this is not an original look. This is something that was inspired by James Charles, who was inspired by the Wigs and Makeup Manager, which I will link everything down below. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video if you liked how this turned out, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Remember, 
13 looks for the month of October. So make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you don't miss a single look. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.